بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah the most gracious the most merciful Allah has given you a gift salah was actually a gift This afternoon we spoke on the topic at Jumu'ah and I mentioned something very interesting if you consider salah as a burden you still have not fulfilled it in the correct way as a believer male or female the day you consider salah a gift and an honor that is the day that you have arrived at a level whereby you've understood what the salah is all about a lot of us consider it a burden especially salatul fajr the cold winter nights subhanallah the warm cozy duvet over you mashallah and at the same time you have a beautiful set of pajamas alhamdulillah and then you are worried about the cold water that is in the tap and thereafter you feel that okay there is still a few minutes left for salatul fajr and what do you do you hit snooze when you hit snooze what happens you lose you snooze you lose you know that subhanallah so don't hit snooze a true believer considers it an honor the first time the alarm rings i challenge you to be able to sit up and read your adhkar praise allah thank him for the sleep he's given you and for getting you up in the morning and get up and get along and get on with your wudu and your salah that's a challenge may allah help me to improve myself and then every one of us may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us so my brothers and sisters Imagine if you were to get up only for the sake of Allah and you say, Oh Allah, I love my sleep. Oh Allah, I love this duvet of mine. I love the bedding, the mattress. I just love the warmth here. And Ya Allah, it's so difficult for me to get up and to get into this cold and turn on the tap and make wudu. But for you, I'm going to do it. I will do it, Oh Allah. Imagine if you were to die on that day. What do you think your condition will be? Subhanallah. What do you think your condition would be? Oh Allah, I, I love my sleep. You know that, oh Allah. I just fell off to sleep just now. You know, a lot of us are searching for success. And as a result, we become depressed because we've tried out all the other recipes that don't work. And we can't sleep because we are worried. So you go to bed, say at 11 o'clock. 12 o'clock, you're still awake. 1 o'clock, you're still awake. 2 o'clock, you're still awake. 3 o'clock, you're still awake. 4, your eye closes. And guess what? Salatul Fajr is at 5.30. So what happens? You say Allah is forgiving. He is Ghafoor rahim He knows that I didn't get sleep. So for me, it's fine. I'll read my qada when I get up. It's okay. I'm sure Allah is okay with that. That was a challenge, a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The devil is entrapping you. Your worries will go away when you get used to getting up for that salah and sleeping on time and stop worrying about things wallahi my brothers and sisters if worrying solved our problems we would have little cubicles and cabins all over the city where people could go inside and worry for 30 minutes come out and say my debts are paid worrying does nothing for you really why are you worrying for what worrying didn't ever help anybody yes you can be concerned about things that's sure you should be concerned do something positive leave the rest in the hands of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala don't be lazy. Do whatever you can. Leave the rest in the hands of Allah. The same applies for Salatul Fajr and other prayers. Sometimes we say, okay, when I became a Muslim, for example, you know, a person would say, for example, if they didn't know any better, when I became a Muslim, I was taught that Allah is in control of everything and everything happens only by the permission of Allah. So I'm going to sleep. If Allah wants me to read Fajr, He will wake me up. And if Allah doesn't want me to read Fajr, I'm not going to wake up. So anyway, I'm going to sleep. Bismillah. And we go to sleep. That is foolish. You are responsible. The alarm clock, you are the one who was supposed to put it there. If you were sitting, like we said yesterday, at home and thinking to yourself, I need to get to Al Manar Center. And if Allah has written it for me, I will go. You would still be at home. Like I said yesterday, I hope you're watching on live stream, inshallah. It's a reality. You need to make an effort. Without that effort, you will achieve nothing. That's Allah's plan. MashaAllah, we made the effort, so we are here today. Oh, we are listening. Alhamdulillah. We thank Allah for that. Similarly, when it comes to your prayer, make an effort. Allah asks you for nothing besides very few things, small, which is an honor for you, a great honor for you.